Dave's doing now. Looks to me like he's filling up a snowblower. You filling up a snowblower? I hear something. Woo! My guess is it My guess is it works. Dizzy's a goof. I figured out, well, I'm not so much a goof. I took this gear off. This goes to the snowblower. This is the shifter gear, and I took off the whole arm. And then I separated it because they were saying that this piece here couldn't be separated. They were trying to tell me that it had to be bought as one piece for $70 or $80. And I said, fuck you. So I got the wheel off. That's the old one. It slips in there like that, so barely any was showing. Okay? And uh, I'm going to replace that. I'm going to order a wheel today online and replace that and uh, sell this freaking snowblow, man. I'm just sick of it being in the way. Not sick of the snowblow, but just sick of it being in the way. I'm not going to take care of the rust there, but what I did is I wire wheeled it so there's no loose shit coming off of it and stuff, and if the kid wants to, you know, spray it with something to make it last a little longer, he can do that. But as far as I'm concerned, I, uh, I'll take this off here, I clean this up, clean the gear part, wire wheeled it, what's the uh, bushing? I mean the uh, Baron, but but Baron seems to be working good. I got the other Baron right here. So as soon as I order the uh, this drive the rubber wheel, I will uh, be putting that back together. It's a snowblower. Mail day at you dizzies. Mail day. So for the rice, I got a package in the mail. I think uh, I think I ordered this part here. I'm going to cut it open with my trusty knife. Get into it. Get the end of it. eBay, fourteen dollars. Now let's get to work. So well, we're back down here. I got uh, the new piece, and uh, is the old one. I don't see much difference between the two, to be honest with you. Uh, I do see a little bit, but not much, so I don't even know if that's the problem, but we're going to try it. So I got to get the bolts back in this and put this back together and put it back on there and try it out. Well, okay, I slipped that back on the, uh, on the shaft just to make sure everything works so now I have to slip it out and we're gonna put it on this if you notice I uh, I clean this disc up 
as much as I possibly could. And uh, it seems to be okay. So I'm going to get uh, everything rolling. I got a couple clips for this. I got the bearings and uh, the little pin that goes inside this hole. So I'm going to install it and we'll we'll get to there. What you do, make sure you don't forget, is to put this hole, you see that hole? That pin right there lines up with it. So, you know, just to, to get it right, it actually goes in. Sorry about that. Like this. So this piece here catches those. And uh, this catches the wheel. Well, my friends, the wheel is in there, the new wheel. Um, just so you know, um, this is how it's set up. This is on the uh, left side, and the uh, it just sits in the hole there. This little pin goes in that hole, and that's what guides this back and forth on the uh, wheel. Now, dead center of this wheel here should be neutral. Now, if you look up here, um, dead center right here where it is, is neutral. Just It's just about right on. So one side of the wheel, this side of the wheel would be reverse, and this side's forward. So I made sure that the teeth are locked in here, the, the axle's all clean and lubricated, um, and the nuts are back in. So now it's just putting back together and trying it. I'm hoping this new wheel works. I wanted to add one more thing. Whatever you do, don't forget to put this pin back in there. All right? That's a necessity. So put that pin back in there before you're done and close her up. Because if you don't, you get it back together and then have to take it back apart. Well, I got her out there. I fired her up. And with the new wheel, she still doesn't drive. I adjusted the, um, the tension on the... Um, on the cord that pulls the um, the brake disc um, forward, and um, it's as tight as it goes, and it, it like wants to go, but it just won't. So I'm not sure what the problem is, but uh, if I can't fix it, uh, I'll just scrap the damn thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you Dizzy knows all about these snow blowers now. It's all fixed. It's uh, ready to go, and the problem with, with it was uh, the spring um, to the tension piece that moves the friction disc was frozen in its spot. So I, what I did was I moved it, I took the belt off, and I sprayed it with WD-40, and I kept wiggling it back and forth. I put the cover back on, and, and away she works. So frickin' right. That's uh, another one done by you, Dizzy. So uh, maybe I can give you a video of it working. All right, we'll try this.